Hey, Victoria. Hey, girl. Oh, hey, Jenna. What's up? Nothing, Anita. Oh, you know, just catching last night's city council meeting online. You watched the whole thing? Well, yeah. So what if somebody just made like a recap or just a condensed version of it, you know, maybe posted on social media, something that's just... The meeting began with announcements and recognitions. Mark your calendars. The library will host community meetings to discuss its new strategic plan and get feedback. You can learn more and take the survey at victoriatx.gov library. The municipal court is offering free car seat inspections. Make sure your kiddos are buckled up properly. To sign up, call the court or visit victoriatx.gov slash car seat. Allison Lacey was sworn in as the new city attorney. You're going to do great things, Allison. Mayor Jeff Bocknight proclaimed this week as Public Service Recognition Week and Arson Awareness Week, shedding some light on all the hard work our awesome employees do to enhance livability and raising awareness of arson prevention. Keep Victoria Beautiful's Business Beautification Award was presented to Santa Rita Market. Thanks for keeping downtown beautiful. There was one item from council. Councilman Dr. Andrew Young had requested information about historic preservation in Victoria. We don't have a local ordinance, but we might be looking at that as part of the Unified Development Ordinance. More on that later. A few residents spoke during citizens' communication. Danny Camacho announced the Bad News Chairs will be bringing back their wheelchair softball tournament July 2nd and 3rd at the Challenged Athletes Dream Complex. And James Weirden encouraged the council to review the city's historic preservation policy. There were two items with public hearings. The council gave preliminary approval to a downtown entertainment district. This will help us promote the area for additional retail, restaurants, and bars, as well for special events. We want to send a message that downtown is the place to be. The council also gave preliminary approval to allow taxi services to set their prices slightly higher if they so choose. These rates haven't been changed since 2011, and gas prices have gone up since then. The council took action on other items following discussion. The council awarded a contract to 4B paving to seal cracks in our streets. It's a common type of preventative maintenance that the city recently started doing on an annual basis. An ounce of prevention truly is worth a pound of cure. The council also approved a proposal from LSPS Solutions to develop electronic operations and maintenance manuals for the city's water and wastewater facilities. Lynn Short used to be our public works director, so let's just say he knows his way around the plants. The new manuals will all have the information needed to keep these sites running in a 21st century kind of way. And lastly, the council heard a city manager report on the Unified Development Ordinance. This proposed new ordinance would bring the city's development regulations to one place and update them as needed, making them easier to navigate and making sure that our development standards are in line with the kind of growth residents want to see. You can share your thoughts now at victoriaudo.com. Okay, so hear me out. Just a condensed version of what happened at city council. It would just be a short video, somebody, you know, just a brief overview of everything, talking about what happened at city council. You're in public information. I feel like... Do you think it's a great idea? Because I do. I think it's going to be fantastic.